video we will learn how to convert an image into black and white. Black and whites give photos a different feel, maybe somewhat of a traditional feel, and in the area of portrait photography it's seen to lessen the confusion of the image with colour. The tools we'll be using to do this are the black and white adjustment layer and a curves adjustment layer. So first I'm going to select the highest layer on our layer pile over here which is our curve 3 layer and I'm going to go to adjustment layers and choose a black and white layer. Now with this layer we can choose what colors are converted to whether they're converted to a pure white or through 256 shades down to black. Kate has a very tan complexion so her skin colors can contain a lot of reds and magentas and a bit of yellows. There isn't going to be many greens and definitely very few blues or cyans. In black and white photography we want the skin to stand out against the surrounds. Kate being a fair skinned person, a Caucasian, means that we want her skins to be white. Unfortunately her surrounds are quite dark. To do this I'm going to increase the brightness of all the reds in the photo. Maybe up to about 80. And you see her skin's already lighter. The yellows I'm going to make up to about 82, 80 as well. And the magentas are already at 80. I'm going to take the greens and the cyans and the blues, I'm going to take those down to about, actually about zero. So we can see behind her, this is starting to stand out. Now looking at the image, you might say that maybe she's a little bit too pale, so I'm going to wind back the red wind back the magenta slightly. But the effect is that her skin, being white skin, stands out quite distinctly to the background. The opposite would be for a person with darker skin, in that you would attempt to photograph them with a brighter background and give me that nice contrast. I'm now going to click OK for the black and white adjustment layer. And the last step is going to add in one final curves layer because all black and white images seem better with more contrast than their colour counterparts. So again I'm just going to slightly increase the whites, slightly decrease the darks and giving quite a strong black and white image there. So we've converted the image to black and white.